If you love the content on my channel, please consider checking out my Patreon link down below. It would really help out my channel and you get really awesome rewards and prizes as well. Hey you guys, it's Coffee, and today we are back playing the Sims 4 Asylum Challenge. This is the Descendants 2 version. I mean, I, I know I say Descendants 2, but it's the season 1 of Asylum, but I have characters from Descendants 2 in it. I don't know. Um, but first and foremost, I want to get this out of the way. Um, I put a poll in the last episode and I asked you guys who should escape and leave the asylum because I wanted to make room for Mal and Ben to be able to have a child and we didn't have enough space in the house. So so um, there were 287 of you who voted and 30% of you said you wanted Lonnie to leave. So that is what we're going to do is we are going to get her out of the house first. Um, actually, let's finish what, what's, what's happening. Um, I went ahead and had Ben propose to Mal and it looks like she is 110% on board. So today we are going to plan a wedding and it's going to be great. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and we'll go to oh i can't go to manage worlds okay my bad let's finish your proposal my bad my bad okay manage world so we'll save and go to manage worlds real quick and i'm just gonna move lonnie anywhere maybe she'll go to San my shuno i have no idea where exactly i want to put her but basically the story is is that she has escaped the asylum she found a way out and she wasn't able to take anybody with her so um i'm a little sad to see her go just because i do like her as a character but you know like she needs she needs to go start her own life and get out of here basically uh where the heck is it is it in no, it's not in San Myshuno. I think it's in Windenburg was where we put the asylum. Yeah, it's right here. So let's go ahead. We'll edit this household. We'll go to the splits. We'll start a new household. We'll get Lonnie, take her out. And um, we'll put Lonnie, I want her to move out. So we're gonna go just put her in her own house. Um, we'll evict whoever was there, get out. Uh, we'll let you have it furnished. Okay, there we go. So now we have room in the house to have a child. And if maybe in the future we'll let someone else escape so we can get a pet or something. I don't know. It's kind of up to us. But first and foremost, the thing that I really want to do in the episode is go and get Mal ready for her wedding day. And we're going to set up an arch because we have the money to do everything now. And I do want her to have a nice dress and everything. I mean, I know she's in the asylum, so it's a little bit weird, but we're just gonna go with it. So we're gonna go testing, sheets, true, cast dot full edit mode. And then we're gonna go in here and modify her in cast. Sorry, lots of loading screens at the beginning of this episode, but you know, we, we got a lot to accomplish. So I'm trying to make it snappy because I want them to finish their wedding and hopefully get pregnant in this That's episode the for realties. Problem. So first and foremost, also I do have special cast lighting on. So if the Sim looks a little funny, it's probably because of that. Let's go ahead and go to her formal wear. Okay, so this is currently what she has on, but we can do much better than that. I actually downloaded a wedding dress that I have yet to see in game. We may or may not use it. Um, I put a new wedding dress in though and I'm excited to see it. We have this one, which I love, but it's not new. Um, there was one that I picked specifically and I was like, this could totally work for her. Um, I, it kind of looks like, um, what is her name? You know, the Royal one, Kate, <laughs> um, Prince William's freaking wife. 
the Duchess of Cambridge, I think, you know, you know, it looks kind of, it looks kind of like her wedding dress, but I'm not seeing it in here. Like it didn't show up in my game, which is a really big bummer. But even if we didn't, like there are other dresses I can use, it will be okay. But that was really the one I wanted to use. So here's hoping that it's actually in here somewhere. Um, so far, not good. I mean, I have this dress, but it's only in black. And I wanted a white dress. Oh, here it is. Boom. Boom, baby. It looks really funny in cast. It will look much better in the game, I promise. Okay, let's go ahead. Do we have anything shinier for her eyes? Oh, we have them like that. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to change them to be that. Let's go ahead and play with her makeup a little bit. Why? I feel like her skin pack is weird. That actually, to me, almost looks better. So we're going to go with that one. Um, I think I would put her hair up for some reason. It just seems, or maybe like back. Um, I do want her hair to stay purple though, so that will be a big factor in deciding how it will be. Oh, that could totally work. Just do it in like purple like that. I like that. Um, her brows can stay the same for the wedding day. Let's see if I have any like, oh, we have a crown. <gasps> Guys, that is perfect for her. Oh my gosh. Yes, queen. Okay, let's uh, look at accessories really quick. I just want to give her white pearls for her wedding day. I think that makes more sense. And her face looks really large for some reason compared to her body. Can I fix that? Okay, I think that's a little better. Um, I don't know why it was like that. <laughs> okay, let's, um, I think this is my favorite wedding day eyeshadow. Again, please remember that she will look better in game. I feel like she looks a little off right now. Um, I also want to snag some big beautiful lashes for her. I like those. Let's go back to makeup really quick. Uh, let's snag a blush. Uh, maybe something a little more peachy tones. Uh, and then we'll also grab a lip. I feel like we would go with a red lip personally, because I just feel like that's, she would go bold on her big day, you know? So we're going to go bold with a red. Oh, does that even look good though? Like, am I tripping? Maybe that's not the best. I think Ben is already dressed for this. What? I didn't even know I had this. Oh, this is because of that murder mod that I have. That's really cool. I could actually use that in the thumbnail for the other videos that I'm working on right now. Good to know that that's there. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't really give her a liner, did I? She looks so like grown up right now. I mean, she is getting married, so I guess she should. Okay, I think that will work. Let's take off these bracelets because I just don't like them take those off and let's actually give her a ring we'll do green I feel like she could rock green um, I think it's on her wrong hand though so let's not do that let's do this one instead yeah there we go so she has that ring on and then she has this one on which I don't want her to have there we go I feel like she could do green oh and the shoes those shoes are a hot mess girl different shoes for sure we could just do these silver ones that's fine oh this is this looks so good okay uh let's go check out ben really quick and just make sure that he at least has a tux i feel like it's so easy to dress guys for weddings okay he doesn't have a tux on so i want to change that i'm glad i decided to look so we're just gonna slap that on him and change his shoes to be a darker pair of shoes i would really like to put just black shoes on him there we go. That works. Okay. Perfect. 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 So let's go ahead. We're going to go set up a little wedding area. Nothing too fancy. I want it to be like subtle and sweet. I mean, the only guests who are going to be there are from the asylum. So it's not like we're going to have like a billion people over, you know what I'm saying? So I think it'll, I think it'll be, I think it's going to be good. Just a small, sweet, intimate wedding, even though that's totally not what uh, these characters would have in real life. They would have like some massive royal wedding, but I think this is going to work. It's 4 p.m., sun's going down. It's a beautiful time to have a have a big day. So I don't know why there's two waterfalls back here. I didn't design this house, somebody else did. Um, I'm gonna put this inside. I'm gonna get rid of this. I think I'm also gonna get rid of this. Okay. Let's go ahead, oh, should we make this nicer back here? Like maybe put down grass? 
I like never do landscaping, so I apologize in advance if this is weird. I don't really care if it peeks outside the fence. That's not really a big deal to me. Turn the grid off. Okay, um, let's go ahead and let me grab an arch. I just want like a wedding styled arch. This is probably the one I'm gonna go with. It's my favorite to be honest. Um, so let's put that there. Let's grab definitely some seating. So we're gonna go down to comfort. Let's do benches. I'm a big fan of benches. Um, and I think it's nice. Like you just, you have to be a little bit closer, a little more intimate, you know? Um, we could just do some little log benches. Actually, if I copy these, will they? Nope. Okay, and then we'll do one more on this side. Like that. Uh, let's go back out to this. I'll put some like a little stone walkway out, I think, if I can get it to, you know. Okay, that's not the worst, I don't hate it. Um, let me go ahead and get, let's go into lighting really quick. I think if I put some of these out, that will be kind of cute. Yeah, if I put like one here, one here. Let me actually turn the grid back on really quick just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, wait, this clearly needs to go a little bit farther out. Um, and then we'll grab a few more of these as well to kind of stick back here, I would say. It's a little off, but this is fine. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a little... See, now I want to clean it up. I don't want to sit here and be like a super perfectionist, though. I think that's... Oh, shoot. I just super messed this up. Okay, that's definitely better. And then we could even use like this, maybe slightly around the edges. Nothing crazy, just kinda down here, like people have walked or trampled the flowers a little bit or like trampled around the outside. It's definitely very sloppily done, but that's fine. Okay, I also really wanted to build a quick fountain back here, just like right behind them. I thought that would be kind of pretty to have uh, maybe even a double wide. Do it like that, and then we can grab some little, like, fountain things to shoot out in the middle. You know, just kind of like that. And then, aren't there, like, lights? Yeah, there totally are. Um, we could also put, like, candles out. Do they have pool floating candles? That would have been super cool. I don't think they do. Oh, I also could have done these. That would have been cool, too. Or, like, no, not that. Ooh, this would have been pretty. I wonder if I could make this a little bit bigger. Hold on. <laughs> See, now I'm starting to get carried away. <laughs> okay, let me put this maybe over here and then do, like, one more over here. Is that even lined up right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I really like that centerpiece, this one right here. It will fit, yes. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and give this some kind of edging. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. I'm doing such a good job. Okay, and then let me take a look at trees really quick. See if we could stick some pretty trees out there. Dude, my phone has been just like buzzing. It's kind of making me crazy. Like people stop texting me, leave me be. I love y'all, but get out. <laughs> um, ooh, some lit trees would be cool too. Like if we just had like a few of these just out here. Yes! I was like, I want this wedding area to be simple as I sit here and spend all of their hard-earned money. This is fine. 
Okay, I think it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Um, let's have Ben go here. And let's have Mal come out here as well. Um, we'll have you come sit down. You come sit down. Um, you could come sit over here. Uma can come sit in the back. And Harry can come sit in the back. That should be good, yeah? Is everybody coming out here or what? There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go MC Command Center, MC Dresser, Change Outfits. Wait, no, I want this one. And then same for you. Uh, MC Dresser, Change Outfit to this one. <gasps> Guys, look how pretty they look. I'm obsessed. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and have him get married to Mal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Why is my game freezing? Hold on. Wait, wait, We should save. Can I save in the middle of this? Yeah, I can. I just want to make sure I don't lose everything I just did because I feel like we worked on that little garden back here for a long minute. Um, we are so low on money now, though, but we can sell a lot of this stuff back. Like, we don't need to keep this for, like, future weddings or anything, so it's not a huge deal. All right. I want to get a good view of this, so... Let's, uh, hold on, let me, let me b -b back it up. Actually, wait, um, I think it's control five. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, headline effects off. There we go. I just wanted to get rid of that plumb bob because it's super annoying and I'm not a fan. All right, let's uh, get the, get the view here. <gasps> this is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. All right, let's do. Uh. <laughs> I love how nobody's sitting down. This is fine. You know, we always got to have those paparazzi weddings. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine. Aw, their wedding turned out so cute. I actually am really proud of this little garden area I set up, even though it's super silly. I wish I had put some firework boxes out, but I don't even know how to get those. This is great. I like that she's wearing a crown too. I think that was a really good. Aww. And then she stops and looks at it. That was cute. All right. Did anybody even stay? Nope. Nobody cared about this wedding. They were all like, we don't cur. Go away. Okay. Dang. That was like super fast. I'm actually kind of sad. I feel like I did all that setup and amp up for this for them to just be done. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and come up here and have them try for a baby and see how it goes. He is very playful. Like he could die. I would be really upset if he died, but I would probably let him die. Like not because I want him to, but I think it makes the game series a lot more interesting when people just like die and you let it happen. Like that happened in my 100 baby series. One of the kids died and so many people were wrecked over that and like mad, but I think it just brings more of an interesting gameplay and dynamic if you just let it happen to be quite honest. All right. They are headed up the stairs. Hopefully they get pregnant. We're going to find out hopefully in this episode. I'm really excited. I want them. I've wanted to have like an asylum baby forever, but it never happened in the princess one because we didn't have any guys in the house. All right. Do, 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 do. I found out today that they weren't even girlfriend and boyfriend. Like I did that off camera and then had him just propose to her immediately. Thank goodness it actually worked out. Is this lady here? No, okay. All right, let's go ahead and have Mal come out here and let's have her go take a pregnancy test and see how it goes. Hopefully she's pregnant, hopefully. That is the hope. Oh no, she's not. 
Okay, we're going to try one more time. That was a super big bummer. Why did that not work? Too much celebration on one day, I guess. That was a huge bummer. Okay, we're going to fast forward through it. I mean, there's room in the house now, so there's no reason we shouldn't be able to get pregnant. That sucked. I really thought that was going to work. Oops. All right. And I mean, they seem, oh, is Ben? No, they're both in great moods. Usually, like, I find that sometimes when the Sims are, like, upset or just, like, not happy, a lot of times they're, like, they won't make a baby because, like, their moods just aren't good enough, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, look, everybody's going to work. Well, hopefully this worked. Let's go take a test. We need them to go to work. We are, like, way lower on funds. Uh, looks like Ben, Uma, and Harry are the ones that are still here. Hey, wake up. You can sleep in a bit. Come on. Yeah, she's in like a really excellent mood. Hopefully this worked. Did it work this time? If it didn't work, I'm calling. Okay. Woo! It did work. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Thank goodness. I was getting a little bit worried. I'm glad that it worked. Ooh, girl, you got silly string right on your face. All right, guys. I think that's actually where we're going to end this episode. Dang, 20 minutes right on the dot. Go us. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a very eventful episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT. And over on Twitch, where I stream every week. Uh, I am on hiatus until the beginning of the year. But when I come back, we're doing a lot of exciting giveaways and stuff. So make sure that you head over there. We're going to be doing Christmas in January. And uh, last but certainly not least, I want to give an extra special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting everything that I do. You mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys. Yeah.